Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and get started with praise and worship this morning. Let's magnify the, Lord, the name of the Lord this morning.
sleeping wheel for our altar prayer. Amen. And we'll put oh, it in. I'm sorry. Answer. I'm sorry, Reverend Abbott is coming. I'm sorry. <laughs> put your hands together, church. <laughs> put your hands together. Amen. Put your hands together, everybody on your feet. Put your hands together. Amen. Because I know the Lord has sorry, got something for you. <laughs>
We know not. Or who hath opened his eyes. We know not. He is of age. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ask him. He shall speak for him. Self. Yeah, that's right. Now go down to that 21st, that 25th verse. Uh -huh. All right. He answered. This is the boy. He answered him. <laughs> and he said, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now, now I see. see. That's right. I can speak for myself. My God. That's what I want to talk about today. Yes. I can speak. I can speak for myself. For myself. Am I right about it? Yes. How many of you know that when we become of age, we're supposed to be able to speak for ourselves. For ourselves. That's right, Bishop. That's right. right. That's right. But you do know that we're living in a day and time where folk get in your business. My God, Bishop. They get to get amen right there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> they get all in your business. Yes, they do, Bishop. My they, God. They used to say Dr. Abbott, they get in your Kool-Aid. Your Kool-Aid. And they don't, don't know the flavor. They don't know the flavor. Yeah, that's what they used to say. Get all in your business. Oh, in my business. Huh? Yes. And when they get all in your business, it becomes what we call messy. My God. All right. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Ain't too many folks saying amen. <laughs> amen. amen. Yes, sir. They can, they can get that. We, 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 uh, certainly at some point in our lives, and our walk with God, we got to speak for ourselves. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. You have to sometimes, what we call, grow up. Yeah. Is, is that right? Yeah. You, you know, we can't always be a babe. Uh-huh. We, 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 you, you got teeth in time you come out the bottle. My God. Oh. Teach us, Bishop. Now, like that. Teach us. When 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 they, when you grow teeth, that time you start eating. That's right. Solid, solid food. food. That's right. Milk is not gonna hold you. That's right. You so right. So we must grow up. Yeah. And there becomes a time that we've got to even grow up in Christ. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I can't forever hold your hand. Yeah. That's right. I, I told y'all the other day, and I'm tired of holding people's hands. Yeah. Even in Christ, yeah, God gives you a position and you yeah. run from it. Uh-oh. Oh, I, 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 I could have threw a cushion out there and I'd have heard it hit the floor. <laughs> uh -oh. God gives you a position and you run from it. My God. Why do you run from it? Because you're not you haven't grown up yet. Now, now we can be 40 and 50 and 60 years old uh, in, 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 in our lives, but what are we really in Christ? My yeah, 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 God. Right we walking around here with gray hair, but we still babes. My still God, babe. Bishop. Huh? Yes. Don't fool yourself. Don't let the weeds cover it all. <laughs> Underneath the weeds, there's going to be some gray hair. Watch yourself. It can be black all you want on top. It can be whatever color you want on top, but Listen. underneath... What God gave you is really the color of this paper up here. My God. Simply because you are still a babe. You have not grown up in Christ. That's right. Am, am I right? And we do know that our, uh, how do I want to say this? Our natural lives, we can't hurry enough to, for us to become grown. Yeah. My God. We get in a hurry until the bills come. Huh, listen. Am I right? And one thing I told y'all, I told y'all this not too long, but your bills ain't gonna cheat on you. Listen, you right, Bishop. <laughs> it, it, it don't cheat on you. They faithful. It, it, they are some faithful bills. Listen. Ever since I've been on my own, and I'm, I'm, I'm 49 now, yeah. I'll be 50 in November, November the 10th, for y'all, for those of you that don't know, I'll be 50 years old. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. Yeah. Ever since I was 20 years old, I've been on my own. Yeah. And ever since I was, TXU has still got my name on it. My it's been faithful God. to Boy Collins. Yes, it has. For 30, almost 30 years, it's been faithful to me. Yes. Oh, 
The water bill has been faithful to me. Yeah, y'all ain't saying nothing to me today. Right. My, my, my rent bill has been faithful to me. Yes, it has. I got to be faithful back, Doc. Because yeah. if I'm not faithful, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Your bills will do something you don't want it to do. It'll stop working for you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will, Bishop. Yeah, yeah they ain't talking to me. Right. <laughs> You, you quit being faithful to your bills. Uh-huh. And your bills will quit on you. Yes, they will. <laughs> they, they ain't going to cheat on you, Tamika, but they will sit down. Yes, they will. You go in there to cut the light on, don't pay the bill. It ain't going to work. That's right. You go in there to pay the bill, you, you, don't, you don't want some water to drink, don't pay the bill. My God. They'll cut it off. Yes. And you'll go in there to the sponsor to make a sound. Huh. <laughs> that means it ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> Oh, man. Don't pay your car bill. Go outside. It's gone. Yeah. Am <laughs> I right? You're right. Don't pay your rent bill. You come home, your furniture will be uh, decorated outside. Yes, it will. They'll set that. Oh, you ain't uh, like they all come. Everybody will come out the apartment. Yeah. Yes, they will. They won't know what kind of sale you got going on. Yeah. What What you got for free? Yeah. They finna get everything you got sitting on the outside. Yep. Yeah. Simply because you have not been faithful to your bill. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. You right, Bishop. You got to be faithful. You right. Am I right? You right. He did say, if you will be ashamed of me. Shame of me. Down well. here. Then when I come into my father's kingdom, I'm going to be ashamed of, of you. you. Yes, sir. <laughs> so many times when we ought to say something, yeah. we don't. that's when we don't want to, when yeah. we want to shut up. Huh. And when we should shut up, that's, that's when we want to talk. talk. That's right. And then don't nobody want to hear you. You get an attitude of how the don't nobody care about me. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody worried about my feelings. Uh -huh. Well, when I want you to say nothing, you, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But when it's time to talk about it, now I want to shut my mouth. My God. Ooh, Lord. This thing no, got quiet. As believers and born again saints, all of us got a testimony. Yes, we do. Yes. If the Lord has done anything for you, you should be willing to tell somebody what God has done for you. Yeah. Am I right about it? Right. Has anybody in here in this building right now ever been sick? Yes. Oh. yes. And you know it had to be the Lord to come to your rescue? Yeah. I mean, I mean, how many of us didn't really have the flu? Yeah. The flu makes you seem like you're about I to die. Her. Yes, it does. Huh? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to wish my illness upon my worst enemy. Uh -huh. that's, what I'm, that's what I mean by you sick. Yeah. But you know God had to come to your rescue because the doctor didn't gave up on you. My God. To God, he didn't say that. Yeah. We can't do nothing else for you. Yeah. We don't give something, give you something to make you comfortable. Yeah, that's what and they we don't say. Send you home. Yeah. See what they're doing is sending you home to die. My when you get God. home, you go down on your knees because you got to get a second opinion. Yes. How many of you had to get that second opinion from the Lord? Yes. And when the Lord said, You shall live and not and die, not die. Come on. you see, so you got a job to do. Yes. And it's up to us to do it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come yeah, on preach now. Preach it how you feel it. He, he said, uh, you got to share uh -huh. what God has done for you. Yes. You've got to let the world know that he's been a good God to you. Yes. And I don't, I don't know about y'all, but some folks walk around here being ashamed of what God has done for uh -huh. them. Some folks walk around here and don't want to talk about what Jesus has done for them. My you God. Get in trouble, yes. You can't help but tell the world what God is doing for you. Yes. Come on now. Huh? Yes. See, you should be willing. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm willing to tell for even on my job. And I know that they got the, they got rules in place now that you don't need to talk about God even on your job. Yeah, that's what but they I really say. don't care what they want because God is still in control. If somebody's in trouble, I'm going to tell them about a man called Jesus. Come on now. Right. Yes, sir. Kids in school. You ought to be willing to tell folk how good God is. Yeah. But a lot of times, 
We want to keep it to ourselves. Uh -huh. And you know, this ain't something you can keep to yourself. My God. Anytime the Lord work a miracle in your life, you got to run down the street and tell folk how good he's been. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. It? But you want to refuse to hold your peace and you want to tell folk, I'm going to let God fight my battle. Yes. Y'all don't try to fool me up in here. Some of y'all killed me back like you've been saved your whole life. Wow. <laughs> you, you ain't been saved for two weeks. <laughs> then you try to get pretty when you didn't got saved. Listen. <laughs> not the two. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know I'm telling the truth. Some of us ain't been saved and we act like we know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. My and God. then we add our own scriptures to it. We, we add our own verses to it and we, <laughs> we, we call it the book of hesitation. My God. Close, man. Lord have mercy. Listen, come on. See, I got some stuff in my closet, man. Uh-huh. I, I don't know about y'all, but, but I got some stuff in my closet. Yes, sir. And, and if I open the door, you, you may not want me to wear this jacket no more than, than I got on. Yeah. If, if I tell you everything that I've done. My God. Lord, Lord have mercy. See, I ain't always been a preacher with Yeah. I've I, I did some stuff. Yeah. I've said some stuff. Yeah. I've been some places. Mm -hmm. That I ain't too pleased with. Yeah. But thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto that God. No yes. See, I learned a long time ago that when I met the man that they called Jesus, that I didn't have to do that no more. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. And Come now on. I don't have to do that no more. I'm more happy now than I was then. Y'all yes. ain't saying that. Yes. Right. Where would you be? Think, think, think about it. Uh huh. If God wasn't on your side. Yes. See, see where would you be? If God wasn't waking you up, in my the God! If, if He didn't think about you, what would you be? Yes. Mean? Am I right? You're right. Come on, Bishop. Like I said, I ain't always came to church. Uh huh. Sang in the choir. Yeah. Prepared for the devotion hour. Uh huh. There was some stuff that I was in, involved in. Uh, see, I, I I was what they called back then a whore mother. My God. Oh, I ain't ashamed to say it. I, yeah. I get it. Yeah. And and and, and, and just kind of say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I did it. Yeah. And see, I was good. I told y'all. I was playing them drums. And the women loved that. Mm. And I knew it. Oh, man. That man up in the band, that's why he didn't put his head down. <laughs> he know. That when I was in the band at Lincoln, they said, that little short about that play the drums. And every time I came through there, they wanted me to play them something to make them. And I'd get on the drum just so they would work their neck. Oh, okay. And when they work their neck, I said, uh-oh, I got, I got them, Caleb. It, it's just a matter of time now. I just threw my fishing rod out there. Now, now all I got to do is reel them in. And they were coming in. Oh, yeah, I got some stories to tell y'all. I didn't. <laughs> I ain't going to tell y'all. Y'all make try to put me out this church today, I tell y'all. <laughs> All of that. So, but I, I was a character. Yeah, Ken, I'll tell you, get that honest and get it from Daddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The all drip from yeah, it, 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 it comes from the head down. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Can I say this? Y'all ain't gonna get mad at me. Even when I saw Sister Kyle, I said, I'm gonna have you. He did. I, I told her that. He did. But I wanted to have it and move on. Wow. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that didn't work. But I, 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 I kind of liked what I was getting. So I kept coming. My God. <laughs> kept coming back and kept coming back. Shaft. <laughs> uh, uh, until I said, well, you know what? I'm through with it now. I may as well make this one the one. Yeah, and and and, okay. and, and, and y'all, I took we just celebrated 18 years last Monday. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Because I knew she was the one. That's right. And she I yeah. should want to brag and take credit for it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I did. But before that. Oh yeah, when we would go to different churches and then they would see me playing the drum. Even down in Henderson, Texas, and we would travel and they would 
I get on the drum. I find the prettiest one in the crowd. My God. Yes, I spot her out. And ding, that's the one. <laughs> and I make eye contact with her. Yes, and I play. <laughs> and and <laughs> she, she was thinking that I'm playing for her. Yeah. No, no, I'm just playing for what you got. My God. Woo, I shouldn't be telling y'all that y'all. Y'all. I, well, I will teach you women something today. Okay. You, you've got to. Uh -oh. you, you, you've got to. Let the up, uh, let the men know what's going on. But they didn't always know. The women did. They thought I was, she thought I was playing for her. But I'm actually trying to get what you got. Yes, sir. Once I get your number, it's over with. Come on, girl. Uh oh, don't work your neck back there, Caleb. Cause once I get the number, <laughs> so I ain't got nothing else to say to you, Sister Lynn. Sister Lynn said, that's a wrap. You right. <laughs> but that was my that was my thing. Different men got different ways of how they do stuff, or different people got ways of how they do stuff. Now that they, now they the table was a flip. Yeah. The woman is the one that spots you. My God. Uh oh. You're right. She spots you, and she comes and get you. Uh. Now, 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 for, I got to confess this, but I. I was sitting in Chick Fil A line the other day getting yeah, there, he getting was. something. Yes, he was. Oh. And, and the, the, when they take your order, they because you can't go in the building. Yeah. When when they, when they take your order, they ask for your name. And and she said, "This is Dwight." And I, I said, well, "Yeah, that's my name." And she called into the restaurant. And when I got around, and she said, "Oh, Dwight, we got to get your order right. Mm -hmm. And don't we have to sweetheart?" Yes, she did. She called me sweetheart. Yes, she did. And the other day I went to Chick Fil A again. She made me get out the line. Uh huh. But you get out the line and go park over there. Brought me my food. Yes, she I did. I never even ordered. Yeah. Brought me my food. Yeah. And gave it to me. Mm -hmm. I went back Friday. She gave me some more food. Yes, sir. And I drove off. Now I didn't tell Sister Collins all this, so y'all don't look at her funny. <laughs> So y'all know about all this. Well, she's like, she got a free meal from Chick-fil-A company. Let's just keep putting up. Oh, you, you listen. Listen. She, listen. She just, just throw me a she, meal in there. She called me sweetheart, and I don't care that you call me. <laughs> just, just, just come just on with Just bring me that food. She told me to get out of line. I swear, the, the white truck moved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how to make a right. I went on over and parked, and next thing I know, she was bringing it out. Yes, sir. And I, what's here? I never ordered but she knew my order. Yes, she did. She knew my order. You say I normally give me a cob salad with no corn. Really? Wings okay. You can add blue cheese crumbles and, and, and give me two packs of ranch dressing. That's what I get. That's what I normally get. And she brought it out to me like clockwork. I never went in my pocket and gave her anything. Yeah, you're right. I put my car in reverse and I drove off. Okay. And I called Sister Cotton. You know what this woman just did? This is Kylie, so that's your boo thing. Yeah. No, it's your sweetheart. That's your, oh, that's your sweetheart. That's your sweetheart. Well, that's what she said. But women have reversed it now. Yeah. And they're after the men. Yeah. More than the, the men are after, after the, the women. Them. Yeah. It's different. I, I, big men, am I right? Yeah. How I many of you know you, you can be with your woman? Yeah. And another woman will still hit on you yep. while you're with your woman. Yep. Sure yeah, will. Right you're right. You're Don't right. get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. He's <laughs> 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 You get mad at me because she's looking at me. Ooh. Is it what? What? Don't get mad at me. What I say, some guy. Don't don't get no hate because I'm beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, my oh, man. In the words, oh, in the words of Kyla, touche. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she looking at all at me. It ain't my fault. <laughs> Yeah. It's my fault that I looked this good to her. Okay. All right. If ain't nobody ever going to brag on me, I'm going to brag on myself. Come on. Come on. It ain't my fault that I look good to her. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't. Now, hey. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. You two in agreements, okay? It's you two in agreements too much. <laughs> I don't get bad when someone don't look at her. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me be honest with you. I don't want nobody. Don't nobody want to look at me. That's true. Oh, man. That's true. Talk. Hello, somebody. That's true. If, if, if don't nobody want to look at you, I don't even want to rethink this thing myself. 
What did I marry if can't nobody else look at it? My God. Oh, man. Y'all ain't saying All right, Bishop. Yeah, so so I, I, when, I when folk look at her, I have no problem with it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Make me proud that you look at that. That's mine, because she's going home with me. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you, you can look all you want, but when we get to the house, she's in there with me. All right. When we go to bed, she's in there with me. All right. Huh? Yeah. That's right. That's why I don't worry about you. Look, look all you want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Keontae laughing over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, well, we haven't always been saved. Yeah, you're right, bitch. You're right. Now, bring it on home, Pastor. You're right. I, I, I haven't always been a Christian. Uh huh. I know how to cuss. Listen. Well, I just choose not to do it. That's it. Oh, man. That's right. I ain't forgot how to do it. But I know how to say some words that hurt your feelings. Man. And I knew how to put them together. You so and so and so and so before you know you got tears. Yeah, I got you now. Yeah. Cause I didn't say it's a truth to you that make it hurt your feelings. That part right there, Bishop. Going for you. I'm, I'm, I'm going for the jugular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I said it. My God. I said it one time in front of my principal. And later, y'all know Dr. Lewis was a fool. He was a crazy man. Don't know and y'all ever seen the movie Lean on Me? Yeah. That's Dr. Lewis right yeah. there. He he was that crazy. So when I said it, Brother Alvin, he came out of his office. His office was on the, he had a side door on his, in the office. I didn't know he was in there. And when he came out, I took off running. Ran to the band, band room. He knew my voice. He sent a paper down. You tell Collins to come here. When I get in the office, he sat down, got his little whiskey bottle out of his, out of his drawer. Don't tell it all. I'm going to tell it all. Okay. Okay. He did go now. Yeah, he is. Ain't nothing they can do about it. He took a little swing of his little whiskey bottle and he said, Did you say? Repeated every word I said. Uh -huh. And I lied to him. I said, No, I didn't say that. He took another swing because he knew I was lying. He said, Did you say? And he said it again. And it made me laugh because <laughs> they used to cuss us out all the time at Lincoln. Uh -huh. They didn't have no problem with it because we would cuss them back out. That's it. Uh -huh. What no going home telling your mama? What no going home telling your daddy? Then we just said it. They said it back then. We went on about our business. Didn't think nothing about it. My God. So when he said it to me, uh, it made me laugh. Uh -huh. He knew I said it, but I held on to that lie. And to this day, I never told him. He did it go. I don't care about him knowing now. He can't do nothing to me. <laughs> he did it go. But I said it. What I'm saying is, I spoke for myself. Yeah. I don't care if it was a lie or not, I spoke up for me. Yeah. Because he could have did some damage to me by sending me away from that. Yeah. Yeah. But I held on to that lie to yeah. me until I got out of there. Yeah. What I'm saying is, all of us have done wrong. Uh -huh. You say you haven't done nothing wrong, you lie. You right. Oh, you right and about the truth that. ain't in you. Yeah. If you tell me right now you haven't done anything wrong, even in the church, you lie. Yeah, you're right. You're huh? right. That's true. How many of you ever looked at a woman and didn't see her, you saw what she had? Mm. Oh, man. And how many of y'all ever looked at a man, you didn't see him, you saw what he had? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the human side. Yes, it is. See, even Jesus had a human side. Yes, he did. Yes, huh? he did. He bled. He cried. He yeah. sneezed, laughed. He sweated. Yeah. He did all of that as a human. As a human. But he said, nevertheless, not my will. But thy will. But thy will be, be, done. be done. Come on. Is, is that right? Yes. So, so, uh, he, he said, thanks be unto God. Uh-huh. He looked beyond my faults. Mm -hmm. And he saw my needs. Uh, when you look at this passage, uh -huh. the Bible says, yes. All right. uh, in verse number one, uh -huh. the Bible says, well, as Jesus passed by. Yes. Y'all yeah, see that in verse nine, I mean chapter nine, uh -huh. verse number one. Uh -huh. It says, as Jesus. Pass by. Uh huh. And you know that if the master passes by, yes. something is 
bound to happen. Uh huh. Is that right, church? Yes. You know, uh, if you don't know that, then you're being crazy uh -huh. to yourself. Yes. Is that right, church? Yes. He said, uh, the blind man that called Bartimaeus, uh -huh. he was sitting by the highway side. Yes. And he was big. Uh -huh. But he heard that Jesus was passing by. Uh -huh. And he began to say, uh, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Uh -huh. And there anybody here today that had told the Lord that you need him to have mercy on him. Yes. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. All right. But he kept on speaking for himself. Uh -huh. By getting louder and louder. Yes. Until the Lord stopped and he called him by his name. Yes. And he asked him, what do you want from me? Blind Bartimaeus. Yes. And Bartimaeus said, I want to receive my sight. Uh -huh. And Jesus said immediately, we're not going to put it over there away. I'm going to give it to you right now. Yes. I need you to receive your sight. Yes. And we're right about it, church. Come on. And he's received his sight and began to follow Jesus. Uh -huh. Ask the leper what will happen when the Lord passes by. Yes. 
Jesus. My God. Yes, Come yes, on, Bishop. Talk about it. Put another folk in your testimony. My God. I ain't got no business being in your testimony. Your testimony about what God did for you. Don't put me in it. This is why I'm tired of the saints of God. God give you a job, then you don't want to work. My God. But you want to take credit for it. Yes. That's something. Hello, hello, somebody. Hello. That's true. I made bro Will president of the men. And if he don't ever do nothing for the men, yeah. it's his fault. Yeah. That's right. But then when they do something for the men, don't, don't take credit. That's right. Oh, man. Y'all talk back to me. That's right. When God asked you, Collins gave you a part to be over the men. What did you do with him? Uh-huh. Don't give no excuse. Yeah. Just said, Lord, I didn't do nothing with yeah. it. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. Y'all get mad at me. When I and I know I worked the I worked the devil out of Sister Collins and Sister Lee. <laughs> I, I know I do. But when I try to take something from him, Will and give to you, don't get mad at me <laughs> when you don't take it. And I have to give it back mm-hmm. to Sister Collins or Sister Tamia. Yeah. Oh, man. This is why I'm tired. The devil is trying me. Yeah. My God. And guess what? Like I told y'all earlier, I'll be 50 years old this year. Yeah. And he's working on my health. Right. He's trying to take me out of here. Yeah. And I know that. I know that's what he's trying to do. But I must work. While it's day. While it's day. Yes, sir. Because when night comes, no man can no man can work. Yeah. So my feet can swell up. My ankles can get big. I don't care about all of that. Yeah. I'm gonna walk on them anyway. Yeah. But I get I get excuses. Yeah. All of the time why I can't do this. Mm-hmm. And why I can't do that. Everything ain't no excuse. That's right. Oh, hear me about it. I'm not saying everything is an excuse. What I'm saying is, if God give you a position, Kayla, He gonna qualify you. Yes, He will. You, you, I know you got three babies, mm-hmm. but He gonna make sure that your babies are all right yeah. while you do your job. Yep. Don't y'all fool your God is intelligent. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Start changing Him. Uh huh. Huh? You're right. Oh, I, I could have told y'all for six weeks. I'm going to take off because Sister Collins is down. Mm-hmm. Good. I know the church would have went on. Mm-hmm. Well, so. so he called me to do a job. When that little girl back there was born, she was how many weeks premature? Six. Six weeks. She stayed in the hospital how long? A month and a half. I know you keep up with that. You <laughs> stayed in the hospital a month and a half. Reverend Smith came to me. He said, Collins, if you want, you can take us back. You can take your time. Your, your daughter's in the hospital. I, I know she's sick. They, what they wanted to do, Brother Malcolm, they wanted to cut her open and put a rubber band around her stomach because she wouldn't eat. That's what they wanted to do. Yeah. Be careful what you pray for. I told my wife that she got, she got tired of her being in the hospital. She came to me. She said, you need to do something. Y'all seen the movie John Q? Yeah. When the wife went to the hood and said, do something. Yeah. Yes, sir. He took matters in his own hand. And he took the hospital hostage. <laughs> I went to the hospital with her. <laughs> Back then, you had to scrub up. Up to your elbows. All the way up to your elbows. Yep. Before we went back there to see her. I told Sister Connie, you wait. I'm going to go. Uh-huh. I scrubbed up. I went in the back. Picked up, she was she just fit in my hand. I picked up and I told the Lord, You gave her to me to raise. Now I'm giving her back to you. Yes. Guess what? I never missed a Sunday. Yep. At church. 
Yeah. I never missed a rehearsal. Yeah. At church. Mm -hmm. I, I could have been getting paid for them. Somebody would have took it. Yeah. Said, Reverend Smith, I'm gonna take the six weeks off. Yeah. And I'm gonna go home and sit down. Mm -hmm. I know what was that? What good was that doing me? Right. I'm still gonna have to pray. Yeah. I kept running the pulpit Sunday after Sunday. Whenever they needed me to preach, I preached. What I'm trying to say is, when God gives you a position, walk in it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, what you got going on in your life? Walk yeah. in it. Yeah, you're right, Bishop. Well, I know I'm talking to somebody. I don't know who it is. Yeah. Bless you. Walk in it. Okay. He ain't going to give it to you if you ain't ready for it. That's right. You ever hear this? Please be patient with me. He ain't yet. through with me yet. When he get through with me, I shall come forth. Yeah. That's pretty good. God don't turn out nothing that he ain't through with. That's right. He, come on now. He ain't gonna release you until you are ready. I thought I was ready to pastor for I don't know how many years. Ooh. Went down to a church in Greenville and preached at this church for about five times. Mm -hmm. Thought that they were gonna call me. Had it already started telling me, oh man, it's over. I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. I'm going to get a pastor and then pray with pretty soon. They fooled me and gave it to somebody else. Hurt my feelings too. Yeah. Then he sent me over to a little church. A little raggedy church on Lamont Street. That's all right, Bishop. And I said, Lord, hey, man, this is where you want me to go. Yeah. I had folk down there. Had a salary. Had all of this stuff down there. Vacation time and all that. But this is where you want me to come. This is where I want you to go, guys. Lord have mercy. Uh, I could have rebelled. Yeah. Would have still been playing the drums at Ebenezer. Making some money, huh? Yeah. Yeah, every week I knew I had a check coming. Wasn't no chump change. To make it wasn't no chump change. But God wanted me here. So I had to take less. Yeah. To get more, y'all ain't saying that. Yeah, come on, Bishop. And when he sent me over here, he started adding little pieces. Yeah. Lord, I thank you. We were already at 3 o'clock having church. Mm -hmm. He said, that ain't what I want. You move him back to 11. When I moved him back to 11, some folk got mad at me. Yeah. He came at me. Y'all remember? Yeah. Then one Sunday, the poor, poor people was over here. I said, we're going to have a meeting tomorrow. And the deacon stood up and said, Reverend Collins, your services are no longer needed. I said, I'm going to put you out there. You better sit your behind that. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> when I said it, when he said it, the whole church said, oh, no, you will not get rid of Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember it? Y'all were here? Yeah, we were here. His wife was sitting over here. She ran over here. Vacate the pulpit. But you don't sit down and put you out there. <laughs> Kayla, they called the police on me. Did. Police, two women cops came yep. through those doors right there. Yep. Pastor, what, what's the problem? I said, I didn't call y'all. She did. Uh -huh. You ask her what she want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good man. They fired me right here in this church. Yeah. He stopped playing. <laughs> he looked. Like, he look. They fired me, that. One Sunday morning, faith lady, your, your service is an older woman. I said, I'm going to put you out of here, sir. After the meeting, y'all remember we stayed here a long time. Yeah. Even made the cops stay and pray with us. Yeah, they prayed yeah. with us. Cops left. After the cops left, what happened? I called Pastor Moore. I said, You need to be here tomorrow for this meeting. Pastor, we supposed to pray. I said, We threw praying. <laughs> it's time for some action now. You're stealing the money from the church. My you're paying, God. You're your, your parking tickets with the church's money. Yeah, you were. What kind of devil are you? My God. Oh yeah, then they, they, they spoke about how much they were gonna give me that particular Sunday, but they didn't know God has a ram in the bush. Come on! And the ram in the bush name was Sister Mika, Sister Mika Bryan at the time. Yeah. Came and told me exactly what they planned. Yeah. So watch God, watch God. The next night we had the meeting. They came. Mm -hmm. They brought me a letter of resignation. Yeah. He brought me the keys and put them in my hand. I still changed the locks. Yeah. Because I don't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust you. So I changed the locks. 
So what she did was she cut the lights off in the church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stole the bank account. Cut the, y'all telling it all? Yeah. It's I don't care about knowing who. Y'all know I'm talking about Sister Lewis? Yeah. Here you are. Oh. You lie. <laughs> Change the lights on the doors. She cut the lights off on us. Didn't think we were going to get the lights back on. So what I did was we went downtown to get another bank account. She said, well, you get it in, if you get the bank account in Freeman Chapel, she can come and take it. Because she owned the church's name. She said, tweak it a little bit. So I just put the name Freeman. New on Freeman. New Freeman. Yeah. You can't, you can't take that. Yeah. Sunday morning. We went and got the lights on. Mario. Sunday morning, y'all remember. Had to go get a generator. Yeah. We had a generator on outside the church. Yeah. I installed every officer that Sunday morning. Yeah, you did. They drove by here to see if we were in church. Yep. Y'all ain't saying that. Yep, you're right. Drove by, Doc. I cut the lights off on him. That's the last time I'm going to see a him. No, sir. We were in here jumping and shouting. Sure was. And then and everything. We had dinner. The, we turned the lights off in here. And put the generator in the back and yep. cut the lights on back down. Yep, sure did. And then that Monday morning they came and cut them back on. Yep. Y'all hear me what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes when God calls you to a place, you better speak for yourself. That's right. And you better walk therein. That's right. Because if you're not, what to say if Collins had a, told the Lord, I ain't doing it? I'm not going over to that little raggedy church. What y'all think would be happening to me right now? You right about that. So why fight a battle that I know I'm not going to win? Yeah. So I told the Lord, whatever you need me to do, I'm willing to do it. Yeah. Whatever you need me to say, I'm ready to say it. Yeah. Surrender. I surrender all. Yeah. All right. Right. If there be one here today who is not speaking for yourself, My God. for whatever reason you need prayer from God, you just being a little too nosy. That's right. You're always in other folk business instead of worrying about your own business. Huh? Right. I mean, you know, we got enough problems in our own life. I can't take care of my house and Sister Lynn's house and Sister Tamika's house. Amen, Bishop. No, no, I can't do that. You can't. You can't do that, Bishop. I can't do that. My son got a house even though he at my house quite a bit, but I don't know why he at my house quite a bit, but I can't take care of his house either. Yeah. So the other day, Sister Kayla came and got him and said, that's enough. <laughs> Giving our praises to God, honor to Bishop Collins, to Reverend Abbott. Talk to Deacon Will and to our sisters in Christ. Today we have Sister Kayla is here for prayer for her and her family, as well as Sister Tamika is here for prayer as well.
so I want to say it's been hard. I don't want to say it's been a little hard. It's been hard because I've been stopping myself from eating. When I first found out, it was like two days that I didn't eat. I feel like I was getting sick. I was just doing extra stuff, just crying. But I've been trying to stop myself from crying because my kids. They start crying with me, they just see me crying. It's like, I don't like it. It's like, it's really hard. Yeah. And, um, because I woke up and she was gone, it, it hurt my feelings a little bit more than what it did because I had just heard from her. Right. I wish I could have been up there. I mean, I probably couldn't be in them. We pray. I prayed when I woke up and then go back to sleep the same night. Just crying the whole night. But I just need prayer to keep going through, you know, strength. I've been trying, you know, I'll push my phone back and I'll sleep. I'll sleep. I'll sleep. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I try to keep myself happy to avoid crying because I know I can sleep real fast. It stressed myself out. So if you please can all pray for me and my family and my dad and my grandma. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ooh. I'm gonna pray for you just a second, sister. So to me, it's already done. You were sitting in my kitchen yesterday, and I prayed for you yesterday, and you didn't do it. But I already know what it is. Whatever decision you make, you're gonna come out as pure gold. The Lord had already told me what's going to happen. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. And you're going to be, when you get through with whatever you're going to do, you're going to be brand new and you're still going to be doing the work of God, which is what he wants. So he's not going to have you to do something and he's not be with you. Decide to have whatever you want to have. You just said, You guide the doctor's mind. You guide them. Get in there. What I say, if, it, if I ain't supposed to be in here, you keep that doctor out of here. Yeah. Now, yeah, yes, now, this is what I do when I pray with my food. Dr. Abba love to hear me say it. <laughs> if it's something that's in it that ain't supposed to be in it, oh, remove it right now. Right. Don't let me put it up to my mouth to remove it. Huh? If you didn't put your finger in your ear and cook my food, don't let me eat it. Listen. Yes, sir. That's my brother. Yes, sir. Huh? It makes sense. If I'm on a plane, get ready to leave here and go to Florida, if something wrong with that plane, don't let it leave this ground. Yeah. I don't want to get up there and then you finally figure out what we forgot to put the screw in the No, I need to know that on the ground. So I give me another plane. Start praying that. God is hand. God is mind. Because doctors make mistakes too. They are practicing. That, that, that's what they're doing. They are practicing medicine. They don't know all the answers. This is why I have a phobia of them. They're coming at the white coach, and I'm like, what, what you gonna do? I'm gonna question them. I don't know what you're going to do. You need to tell me what your description is or what you're going to do. Yeah. How you going to do it. How long I'm going to be in there. Yes, sir. I need to know. That's right. That's right. And tell me where the exits are. Because <laughs> if, if I need to get out of here, I need to know. Yes, sir. Y'all better start asking questions. Quit letting these folks tell y'all anything. Because when they told us this you got to have surgery. I won't wait. Hold on now. Let me know what you're doing. How long you going to do it? Yes, sir. How long she going to be down? What's my I need to know no. yes, sir. what you're taking out, what you're putting in. I know. <laughs> do, do she need it? Because if she need to put it back in there, I need you to fix it and put it back. Y'all better start questioning me, doctors. <laughs> Take him with you. Yeah. Question them down. Yeah. Get all the information you need. Yes, sir. But before you leave there, you be comfortable with your decision. Amen. 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 Don't make it by yourself. You got somebody to make it with. Yeah, you got somebody to make it with. She came to me when she was getting ready to do it. I saw what she was going through. I said, do it. I saw and I don't want that. I don't want, if she hurt, I hurt. Right. And I don't want to hurt. Right. But that means I can't do what I need to do. Yes, sir. Amen. Stay focused. Amen. Sister Kayla, let me say this, but I know you know this. You're the wrong one. None of us are here. This ain't none of our homes. Everybody is passing through. This is a stopover point. Your home is either going to be heaven or hell. We don't know which one. I didn't even know your grandmother. But I promise you this, if you can wake her up right now and say, come back, she ain't coming back. She wouldn't want to come back. And she would tell you, quit crying. You dry your tears. And you move on. You, you raise your girls. That's your focus. People don't realize this, Sister Kayla, but when you're walking around the city right now, you are living your funeral right now. You pre 
preaching your own eulogy every day. When your grandmother went from labor to reward, if you can wake her up, she'll tell you, I ain't coming back, baby. I'm happy where I am. You'll be happy. But be happy in the Lord. Y'all hear me what I'm saying? Don't be happy in nothing except God. You're going to cry. You're going to shed tears. You're going to shed tears. But you, you make sure that at the end of the day, you give God all the glory that he deserves. Amen? I'm going to pray for you. Father in heaven, we ask right now for strength. We ask right now that you cover from the crown of her head down to the sole of the feet. Strengthen her right now, even the more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch Master. And all the phone calls are over. We ask Master that you stand in the gap. And you be there for her in late in the midnight hour. She can call on your name when she can't call on nobody else. If she can't call on mama, she can't call on daddy. She can't call on aunt. She can't call on uncle. She can call on you. In Jesus' name. Touch her right now. Touch her right now. Build her up where she's weak. Strengthen her even the more in the name of Jesus. I call it done. And it is done. I take authority over it right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, we ask your blessing upon this young lady right now. Touch her mind, Lord, to make the right decision. That whatever decision she makes, she makes it in you. Master, right now, if she makes the decision, guide the doctor's hand. Guide the doctor's mind. Right now, in the name of Jesus, touch her body right now. Lord, and if you don't want her to go through this, heal her right now. In the name of Jesus, no more pain. No more suffering, no more sorrow. In Jesus' name I pray. I call it done and it is done. Thank you, Master. Amen. And amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Master, right now, I touch this young lady. I lay hands upon her right now. And I ask Lord right now that you touch her body right now. Strengthen her even the more in the name of Jesus. Whatever she's going through, Master, go through it with her right now. Bring her out. Bring her out. Let her, let her know that I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. In Jesus' name, I protect her husband right now. I ask that you go from here all the way wherever he is right now and touch it from the crown of his head down to the sole of his feet. In Jesus' name I pray. I call it done and it is done. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Father in heaven, right now, we thank you, Lord, for what our eyes have seen, ears have heard, and hearts have felt. 
And Master, right now, we ask your blessing upon this communion service. Yes. Lord, right now, we ask that you would cover us in your blood. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for allowing them to put nails in your hand and allowing them to put nails in your feet. Allowing them to put a crown of thorns on your head and you allow them to pierce you in your side. We thank you, Master, uh, for covering us. You went down into hell and you preached the three-night revival. And on the third day morning, you came out with all power in the palm of your hand. And we ask, Lord, you clean us up so we might lift you up. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Thank you.
Can you put my glasses back in there, girl? Yes, sir. No. <laughs> That's a waste of time. to Bishop Collins, to all my ministers, and to the deacon, and to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, June 6, 2021. Our announcement for this week as follows. No Tuesday night Bible study this Tuesday. Those that are on Facebook can sow into our ministry via Cash App, Money Sign New from your Chapel, NBC. Bible study is this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Choir rehearsal is this Wednesday night after Bible study. <laughs> Sunday, June 20th is Father's Day. Also, we are the guests of Unlimited Praise Kingdom Empowerment Church, Apostle Cedric Porter at 11 a.m. If you have any announcements or prayer requests, please turn it over to me by Wednesday night. For our prayer list, we have New Primitive Chapel Missionary Baptist Family, our youth, Alvin Benson, T. Coward and her family, the school districts, the entire world, the pastor and churches from all over the world, the city of Dallas, the Breed families, Petron Pearson, Tracy Floyd, Stacy Murphy, I. Kayla Brown and family of her passing grandmother and Tamika Ab Abbott and Lynn Benson. That will be our announcements today. Thank you. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Did she do a good job? Amen. Come to the bishop hand because didn't you do a good job? Yeah. That's not good enough. That's good job. Thank you, ma'am. Good job. Yes. Now, what I got up here to talk about uh, is the youth department. All right. Them a hand. Yeah. Uh, I, need, I need to tell y'all this. I need to tell y'all this. Uh, youth department, y'all listen. Okay. Uh, youth department, y'all listen. Y'all listen. I want y'all to give the youth department, the, the, the new Freeman, the immovables, a hand. Because uh -huh. that's their 
that's their new name. And I want y'all also to give our babies welcome to the new Freeman Anointed Angels oh, for our yeah. new baby. Now, we, the youth department is the Amoobles, and our babies yes. is the Anointed Angels. Yeah. Okay? So, you know, I thank God the direction that the youth department is going. Beautiful. Uh, also, uh, when is our youth department, the Amoobles, when is our next meeting? The Amoobles, what time? So June 12th, 845, so then so they move boost. What time? 845. At, on June 12th. That is our next meeting. Amen? Amen. And our next fundraiser is on the 26th. On. Okay? The 26th is our on, next fundraiser. We are having a barbecue. Okay. All right? So on the 26th. So that means the move the 26th, that's the last Saturday in this month, okay? We are having, our next fundraiser is the barbecue, okay? June 26th is the last Saturday in this month. The Amoobles, y'all with me? Yes. Y'all with me? That's, the, that's our next fundraiser on the 26th, okay? All right, at, at 12, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I'll get back with y'all for us the menu, but it's gonna be some good barbecue. All right. So I'll let y'all know uh, here in a couple of days what it is. Amen. 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 Uh, let me give y'all a couple of dates and then we're out of here. Uh, the dates uh, for the church picnic. We we are having a church picnic in July. It'll be the fourth Saturday, which will be the 24th of July. Y'all hear me? Yes. The 24th of July is the church picnic. Okay? Come on, church. Now, we have decided what we're going to do. We will be, now I understand about the other people, the Reverend Abbott have his barbecue on the 26th of June. That's this month. But the barbecue for the church will be next month. And we're, we're going to have, now this is what I, what I need. And I've said this before previous years. It ain't nothing new. We got a deep freezer back there. I need each person, grown up, not each household. I need each grown up. You're 18 old, you're grown. My God. That's right. Hello, somebody. I need a pack of chicken, a pack of pork chops, and a pack of wings. Each one of us. We can put it back in the freezer, and when we get ready to fix it, we'll be outside cooking. And that's for the church picnic. A uh, uh, family pack of pork chops. Yes, sir. No, no, they don't trust me. When they invite their friends and all of that. Yeah, it's a picnic, picnic. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it'll be enough for everybody. A family pack is... Is that the folk that's about $5 for $20? No. Well, you can. Actually, but that's only going to be this whole chop. Because if I get five packs of money, that's a little bit. Okay, well, we'll work that out. The reason why I'm saying it, I, I want you to have an important chop. We want to have enough chicken. We want to have enough legs, enough thighs, and enough legs. That's why I say each person bring me one of each. And just, and just, no ribs. Now, if you want some ribs, you got to cook them. So. Legs, chicken, and pork chop. <laughs> so we'll do that. Uh, then there's one more reminder that I have to give you all, and that is on the 20th of, of, of this month. How are we going to Bahia? Is everybody driving or are we getting a van? Well, no, Are we driving or are we getting a van? I understand. Now, if we driving, I'm fine with that. I just need to know. The 20th. 20th. 
Okay, well, y'all let me know by next week what we're going to do. Because we have to leave it the following the week. Amen? Yep. Let, let me know. So let us stand so we can be dismissed. And, and then we'll go we'll over there. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. Amen.